Linostudios at gmail.com. Roger IE, or whatever his name is. Roger, thanks for the email, Roger. Want to know Rip's favorite territory and why? Now, if you're not going to give a favorite, because I already know your answer. I don't have a favorite. I don't do favorites. Blah, 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 blah. Give, uh, us, uh, give us your no, top three. Uh-uh. Uh, I, uh, no, that ain't right. something I can do just like that. What do you mean? Oh, 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 okay. You told me before I can talk territories all day long. I can. Well, but then, why can't you do that? Because I'm not ranking something. Then don't rank them. Just say, hey, I like these three territories. Here's why. You don't have to rank them in no specific order, ladies and gentlemen. I don't want Rip to have to actually pick anything ever. So these three territories in no specific order, but here's three territories, and here's why I liked them. How's that? In no specific order. Right. All I mean, the all the places you, I've been, but you but you expect you want to start writing these some down where I've been? No, I don't. At all. Oh, okay. 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 Hey, Vaughn, give us your top three teaching jobs. Okay. Well, I probably well, like the well, YOC the best. You, you, Here's well, why. Well, have you had three teaching jobs? Six, probably. Uh, oh, okay. But I could six. name. I could tell you. No, well, I'll, what's your top three? I could. I could tell. I'm not. I said no specific order. I said you don't have to give a specific order. I don't. I cannot believe that you, of all people, want everything prepped and laid out and and all that stuff because you can't come up with three territories off the top of your head. Unbelievable, Rip Rogers, the king of not having to prep out anything, calling stuff on the fly. Can't talk about three territories. I can. You're talk- the one that says all I want to do is talk about territories. I hate yeah. talking about AEW. I hate talking about WWE. Let's talk territories. Here's your chance. And you said, oh, we did this. This wasn't in the script. We don't even have a script. What's that you got over there? Notes. Your notes. Oh, how many five pages? It's a freaking email. Five pages of notes. These are for our interviews today. You can't answer a couple questions on on an email. Cornette doesn't go through his emails first, and he'll talk 20 minutes on each email. Well, he can talk. You can't give us five minutes on a territory. Sure I can. Go for it. Well, which territory am I supposed to talk about? Just pick three. Just pick three. Kansas City, go. Kansas City. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Who was the booker there? Oh, I was. <laughs> okay. So you, prob- <laughs> so you probably didn't like it at all. The uh, booker was an ass. Huh? <laughs> no. No wonder you were finally the champ somewhere. You were the booker. No, but I, I took the. <laughs> I, I, I had the lowest belt there because I didn't need a belt. That's why. Okay. So tell us about Kansas City. Oh, see, it was it was ran by Bob Geigel, who was president of the NWA for how many years and years and years, and he asked me if I could be his booker. <laughs> so here I am, Nick Bockwinkle's coming in, who's the AWA heavyweight champion, and I have to give him and Bulldog Brown a finish, because they don't know what to do. Really? Nick Bockwinkle oh, yeah. couldn't figure it out? I thought he was like the... Was he, what, what was he like in real life? Was he not... A great mind and wrestler. A great mind, but yeah. that, but that doesn't mean you're a booker. Well, a great mind, you could come up with a finish, couldn't you? Because well, wait a minute. Uh, when are you coming back? What about this guy's doing here? Oh, he's leaving. Oh, but then again, he's coming back. You got all these different scenarios of what you got. Okay, do. so what happened? He just did, and I'm just sitting there laughing, going, hey, "This is this." I said, "What am I thinking?" I'm thinking out loud. This is cooler than. Here I am giving Nick Bockwinkle a finish. So you knew Nick Bockwinkle at that time. Like this wasn't like just he wasn't just qu- starting or whatever. Oh, like, he was the oldest guy in uh, at, a, in the AWA. At that time. He, he was their champion, right? Uh, Gagne had yeah. turned the, the championship over to him, and he, he was working. This is when Kurt Hennig was just starting out. Okay. And Kurt was just so athletic and and so great. But here I am giving a finish to Nick Bockwinkle. Acting like, oh yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey, can you Nick do this because this is this is what we're gonna do on TV, and you're not coming back till this time, and when you come back, this guy won't be here. He'll be gone in the Maritimes for the summer. This and that, whatever, blah blah blah. This won't hurt him. This won't hurt you. We'll we'll, we'll get through it. Just get in, get out. Don't get hurt, and do it and do it and do whatever you want to do as a finish. Don't care. And he said, okay, you know. How old were you at this time? Do you think I was thirty two. Thirty-two, mm-hmm. and Nick had been wrestling over thirty-two years, oh, and wow. his father was a wrestler too. So you can imagine how smart he was. And then uh, he always had Bobby Heenan with him as a, as a man. Well, at that time Heenan went at a, 
He'd been in WWE. He got moved to WWE when uh, Vince gave all those guys those great big contracts. Can't blame them, you know. Where did you ever wrestle Nick Bockwinkle? No, uh uh-uh. No, ever since he was always, since I can remember, he'd been uh, working for Vern Gagne. Yeah, I've never seen him on TV. In, in the AWA. Uh-huh. Uh, but he was he was a great talent. He did the arrogant heel, a wrestling heel, had long matches, could work baby face or heel, but everybody could back then. Called in the ring. Now you were the booker, but you also wrestled, right? Yeah. All right, sounds like Kansas City was Rip's favorite territory here. Roger, Rip said it. You heard it here first. <laughs> favorite territory. Kansas City. <laughs> How about Florida? Was there multiple places in Florida? Well, they had Pensacola Territory, then they had Tampa Territory. Were they? What were they actually called? Were they called... Championship Wrestling from Florida. One was called like Gulf Coast Wrestling. Okay. And then later on that became Fuller's Continental because he ran all the way from Knoxville all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. Who was your biggest... Um... I guess rival or or I know I know you had the thing with Austin Idol. Did you have runs like with anybody else down there, like a, a big feud or or whatever? Oh yeah, but uh, the best one I had was with Adrian Street. But that was down there. Well, it went anywhere from Knoxville all the way down to Pensacola. Hmm. It was uh, you had you had those different TV markets. We know, uh, yeah, we've talked to Adrian Street quite a bit, and I got some of those out on the channel. Who else? Give me somebody else. Give me somebody besides Austin Idol and Adrian Street. You got anybody else? Let's see. Jock Rougeau. He lost a loser leave town to me. Is that uh, pre WWF, I take it? Yeah. Uh huh. So, what'd you ever think of these guys that you would like, Jacques Rougeau, and you would have feuds or whatever in Florida? Kenny Lucas. And then they show up on WWF, like the big time, quote unquote. Do you ever big, think anything of that? No, big time, little time, it's the same old shit. WWE, they just had uh, more people in the audience, which they might have given the tickets away. Oh, well, if you want to make money, you go to WWE. You just sell your soul. Whatever. No, you could. No, I remember the guys was making more. Guys could go to WWE and make more money in one year than most guys at, at that time were making a lifetime. Okay, so that, I guess that was kind of my question. Like, did everything like? Did you ever think, man? I, I'd like to go to WWF and make a whole bunch of money for a year or two. I, I never called them. Yeah, asking for a job or anything. Uh, so I, there was no like jealousy. Oh hell no! Not with me. No, it's just like oh, guy got a good run. All right, good for him. Well, there's Piper. Well, hell, he helped me out a lot when I was in Portland. You know. Well, there's these other guys there. Well, he's a good guy. He's a hard worker. He does what he does what he's told. He looks great. He trains hard. He ain't a doper, you know. <laughs> no, well, I mean, hey, we got to remember, yeah, back when WWE went big time, uh, everybody in the wrestling business, and I talk about it all the time, we were half-assed criminals. We yeah. didn't want, wouldn't work a real job. Everybody was tough. Pretty much everybody trained. They all had a, a gun or a knife in their bag or whatever. And uh, uh, it's like the stuff with AEW. I mean, there was fights. There was heat with guys. But if you wanted to work there, uh, you got along. And there was no internet. Right. And that's, and that's a real big thing. It's like the, uh, there was always stuff with guys had heat or whatever. And then I don't know, Watts said, hey, if you guys, uh, we got to make money. You guys go in the other room and fight, and somebody come out shaking hands or one half dead or whatever. But I ain't putting up with this. Shit. Yeah, he just fire you both. Yeah, he, he got money to make. He ain't gonna hurt hurt his town, hurt his product. Uh, but but you guys got to get along in the ring so nobody gets hurt, and, and and everybody does business. Yeah, I remember asking you once when I was teaching. I asked you about <clears throat> the guys ever not get along wrestling. And you said, is there any teachers you don't like? Well, it's just like, that way. Yeah. It's like, well, I mean, yeah, I guess. Well, do you still go go to work? you still go teach? Well, yeah. yeah. Well, okay. It's the well, same. That, yeah, <laughs> it is. It is. 
Yeah. This is a business I want to be in, and you want to be in. We both there, but we're not getting along. So, well, get learn to get along. Yeah. I mean, you're trying, you're trying, to, you're trying to get in, get out, and not get hurt. You're trying to make, try to make a living. What are you doing? Uh, well, we're, we're wrestling six nights a week. That's great. You don't want to teach, teach school? Hell, you got out. Hell, I taught school one year. I didn't want to be there. Are you kidding me? Golly. Golly, man. How wow. Things, how things have changed on our YouTube. Golly.